Hey guys, um, thank you for clicking on this video. Um, don't mind my slightly weird post yoga outfit. Why do I never think about this stuff before I like put on the camera? Oh well, I'm too lazy to change it now. So, <laughs> um, my wonderful, lovely, incredible mother um, has treated me like so much this month, um, and. I thought I would share it with you because my she's so lovely. Basically, I had um, a couple of hospital procedures um, the other week and <laughs> weren't particularly nice. Um, and my mum came to look after me and pick me up from hospital and um, yeah, and just make sure I was alive and kicking. Um, but what I wasn't kind of banking on was that she. Um, basically, she'd bought me a couple of plants um, on previous occasions and she'd been bringing them to me I know I've forgotten to get another one I will get that in just a second but so these are plants that I've kind of had in my collection but they've been at my mum's house for quite a while um and she brought them along because I don't drive um well I can drive but I live on a train I don't live on a train I get to, to uh, I get from my mum's to my house on the train <laughs> um Anyway, this has gone on a tangent. Um, those of you who know me in real life will realise that this is not an abnormal tangent. Um, anyway, so where where's my head at? What was I saying? Yes, so uh, some of these plants I've had for a little while, but they just haven't been here with me in my flat in Bournemouth. They've been with my mum in Oxfordshire. Um, so I will show you those just quickly because I like I love them so much. They're so beautiful. So the, the first one is this lovely um, Fatsia japonica, I think it is. I think you are. Or castor oil plant, I think. Um, I will have to double check that because I really should have double checked it before um, doing this video. But I just, this is so pretty. Um, I just love how glossy these beautiful leaves are. And yes, it's kind of like a... A simple plant but it's one of those ones that is just so beautiful like I love the shape of the leaves I love how glossy and rich and glowing they are um, so that one is lovely I love you very much <laughs> um, I think she actually just got that one from Tesco for like two pound fifty or something or four pounds or something well anyway it wasn't much um, and that is a very much loved plant the other one that she got me was this um, bird's nest fern uh, blah, blah, blah. what's it called um, it's gone it begins with an N do you have your name on here you do not anyway <laughs> um, so uh, and it has got some beautiful new growth at the bottom here um, in the the funnel as it were um, oh man that's gonna really annoy me um, but yeah, it's a bird's nest fern and I love it and it has no crispy tips and I really fully intend to keep it that way because it's just so beautiful. Microsorum? Something? I don't know. Anyway, um, so yeah, that was another lovely one that my mum got for me. Um, but they, she bought them for me quite a while ago and just bought them um, to come and live with me. So that is lovely. <laughs> I will just show you the other one that she bought, which basically I bought um, a couple of weeks ago in Birmingham for a very, very decent price. Um, there's no graceful way to do this, so I will just... <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> it is this great big bad boy. He's so beautiful. Unfortunately, he got like ever so slightly um, sunburned, but it's basically a philodendron imperial red. Um, and this one, I can't, I can't remember the name of. I can't, you can't even see me here. Um, I can't re remember the name of the Latin name, but it is beautiful. I will put it on the screen if I remember. Um, and believe it or not, this this huge great big plant I bought for ten pounds. <laughs> 10 pounds, like that is incredible. <sighs> right, 
don't mind my non my non graceful self. <laughs> um, so on to the rest of the plant. So I had my hospital appointment and that was you know lovely and stuff. Um, and my mum took me to a lovely um, plant nursery locally to us, well me rather, um, in Christchurch. It's called Stewart's Garden Centre. Um, and the last time I went, like their selection did not look healthy, like so I wasn't really expecting a huge um, amount of healthy, happy looking plants, but I was very pleasantly surprised. <laughs> like they have really, really turned it around. Um, I did take some video footage of um, walking around there because I was just like, this is incredible. This is like plant heaven. Um, and there is so much choice and all the plants look so healthy. So, um, and my lovely, lovely mum um, decided to treat me to um, a few plants, which was so um, kind, like just so kind of her. And I don't know, I felt a bit overwhelmed and emotional. It might've been like the opiates and stuff. But I was just like, I can't believe you bought me these plants. Um, so yeah, the first one, is this beautiful cordeline, cordeline, I don't know how you say that, um, but if you can see here on these, on the edges of these leaves, so not only have they got these lovely um, variegated stripes, but they also have pink edges, uh, which is just stunning. So this is the um, cordeline fruticosa, I think it is, and it actually has um, three, um, plants in this pot and I love it. Um, I don't think my camera is really doing it justice uh, but it's, it is just beautiful. There is a very nice picture on Instagram which I haven't edited at all um, which shows kind of the actual vibrancy of this plant because it is just so bright. <laughs> um, there you go, one last look because it's so pretty um, and I really think it's like an underrated plant because it's like I think it's very easy care, very easy to get hold of, but yeah, I'm in love. It just looks like a like a fiesta of colour. I just love it. But um yeah, the next plant that I got from my lovely mum was this oops <laughs> this cousin it type plant. <laughs> um and this is the Lepismium bolivianum bolivianum, um, which is just an epiphytic um jungle cactus basically um and if it flowers it will be some lovely um white blooms like not huge like i think they're no no bigger than that size so not like the gigantic um epiphyllum um flowers but this is just i just love this um it's currently hanging in my window well not right now but you know what i mean um and it just looks so jungly and it just gives me joy um and it's, it's already growing. It's already started growing since I got it, uh, which makes me extremely happy. Um, then she got me one plant, which I can't believe I didn't have like for so long, which is the Monstera adansonii. Um, the reason I haven't had this for so long is because um, every single one that I've seen in a shop um, has like looked just so unhealthy, like so ragged with so many uh like decrepit looking leaves and i know i'm not talking about like the holes i'm talking about like brown or yellow um crispy tips and ripped leaves and that kind of thing um this one i oh i was so excited it did have like a really tiny little bit of variegation i don't know if you can see that there um and this leaf has unfortunately like progressively died so i think it must just be a mutation of some description it was bright bright white um but it just died it never even unfurled so um i guess the plant is probably killing it off because it's not healthy but um it's the rest of the plant is just stunning and i'm so so happy with this lovely lovely plant um and really happy to finally get my hands on a healthy one um then we have Oh yes, this lovely uh, cryptanthus, which I just love these. My mum for so long has been like, you can't have one of those. They just look dead. They look like, I don't know, like something rotten, but I just love it. Like, I mean, I, I'm always a bit of a bromeliad fan um, and this, I just love it. 
and the leaves they're just so like the leaves they're just so like crispy and like somehow fleshy but also furry I don't know I'm just I'm a huge fan and I love the patterned leaves and I also really like that it's called the earth star like I know I, I try not to get too like hung up on common names because they often will end up being the thing that sells them for me uh but I just really like this earth star um it sounds so cute um then we went to a really really nice um little I think it was the Bournemouth Horticulture Society um, show, which was really interesting to see. Um, and that was a lot of fun. There was a lot of um, like vegetables on show, flower arrangements, um, and there was some cacti and succulents. And they had a, like a tiny little plant stall sale there. And I got this beautiful Kalankoe, um, AKA panda plant, AKA, um, bunny's ears no that's not right i can't think what it's called but um it's lovely i have had one of these before and it died promptly on me but i don't know if you can see it's just got these lovely furry beautiful leaves um and this plant is so healthy and what my mum paid for it was three whole pounds for such a huge succulent that is just incredible um and it's in this lovely cardboard pot which i'm not sure for a um Kalankoe is the best idea so I probably will be potting it on very very soon um but it is like I, I just like that I really appreciate that I like a cardboard pot instead of plastic pots anything that reduces plastic is a big win in my books um and finally um these are just a couple that I bought today um they're little rescues from Wilco's there is nothing wrong with them as far as I can see but they've been reduced to 50p um, and this is just some kind of fern. I'm, I haven't even had a chance to like look up which fern this is because they just call it foliage plant. Um, but it looks really happy and healthy. So I can't even figure out why it's been um, reduced. But yeah, so these four little plants were two pounds total. Um, so I'm thinking they'll be good terrarium plants. Um, and one maiden hair fern this is to sort of plump up the remainder of my terrarium um maiden hair fern which has suffered slightly um but i think it's the same um species as the one that i've got so um it's looking a little crispy but then that's not bad for a maiden hair fern that's been sitting in a shop for several days um and finally this little one which is also looking really healthy so I, i'm just kind of like why have they made that 50p but also not complaining um very happy with those so um that is it for my plant haul um i i keep telling myself to stop buying plants but like i feel like i can't help it if someone else buys them for me <laughs> I may or may not have bought some more plants as well, but um, don't tell any of my nearest and dearest because they will all be telling me off, with the exception of my mum, who absolutely loves plants. Um, so yeah. Um, thank you so much to my mum for these beautiful plants because they have just like cheered me up so much after the last week. Um, and I am just really happy to have them in my flat. Um, so uh also thank you very much um to you guys for watching this video um and if you made it to the end um let me know in the comments what um, plants you've recently got and which is your favorite um and if you've got any like burning tech care tips for these plants because um i don't know everything <laughs> like i don't know very much at all about any of these so um yeah any tips you have would be great um and uh, make sure you give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you didn't like it um, just to keep me let, letting me know what you like to see from me um, and so I have some form of feedback um, it all helps thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one bye